hello guys now we'll continue from the last video now we'll distribute the plot for uh, seeing the distribution of the messages after we have cleaned the data so before in the last video we saw before cleaning the data this was the distribution of the spam label as well as not spam label now we'll see after the cleaning of data for that we have to just do plt dot sub plot one comma two comma fix size we have to specify the fix size equals to i'm taking again 15 comma 8 sinus dot this plot this plot i'll be using df of df label double equals to one and square brackets of clean length before we had just length now we'll be having clean length and we'll be using bins are the, the same configuration storing t bins x equal to ax zero for initiating the axis label should be spam message distribution we can even specify the color that is again we will specify it for it equals to r now we have to for the axis we have to specify axis zero set label we'll specify spam message length now a x zero dot ledger now again we have to do it for non spam classes so again let me just copy and paste the code because we have to just change the value now after copy the code let's just piece of code for the clean length and now you can see now you can compare for the before cleaning and after cleaning distributions now let's visualize some popular terms in spam messages using a word cloud so the word cloud library in nltk will be used for this purposes so as we know word cloud is a data visualization technique used for representing text data in which the size of each word indicates its frequency or importance so now let's getting a sense of the cloud words in the spamming messages so in order to get the sense of cloud words for that we have to just import word cloud import word cloud now we have to just specify what will be spam so again message just square bracket df label should be double equals to one and spam underscore cloud will be using the word cloud we have to specify the fit argument to be around 800 you can specify your and i'm just taking 800 height should be around 500 and background color i'm taking as let's take white you can take any but i'm just taking white for a few realization and max underscore words i want to have is wrong I have to just type generate base comma join function and we'll pass spam spam sorry spams and now for plotting the figure we just have to type plt dot figure fix size I am taking to be around ten comma eight I want face color should be blue. Plt dot I have show spam or cloud. Plt dot axis should be 
get this taxes okay. and plt dot dhht dot layout and I want to pad it with zero that's why I'm specifying the value of pad finally not show the graph yeah I'll show you plt dot show running this get a beautiful cloud picture now you can see so dollars and NUMBR these are the words that we have been separated so you can see these are the words that are present many of the times number of people number of people so this is basically a cloud word cloud the, the majority of the words that has been represent, uh, represented so the font size of those words will be definitely higher compared to the words who are very less frequent so their font size will be small this was in case for spam now let's get the sense of now words in non-spam that is not in spam normal words so these are basically in the spam words spam mails now let's for the non-spam again we have to do the same thing for cloud in port word cloud again not underscore spams for that tf message in square bracket df label and has to the value zero and again using this let me just copy this okay for this spam cloud so it will contain the same value so it will contain the same values yeah just as above now again the values will be same so let me just again copy paste the same piece of code for PAT dot figure again we will take the fixed size 10 comma 8 base color we will again take P and PLT dot I am sure should be mentioning the spam underscore cloud and again we'll access keep access off and layout will pad it with zero and finally PLT dot show. Now this code has to now run it. Now it so in non spam you can see there is no not repeated words when in here you can see dollars dollars number report numbers dollar email here language research workshop there is also presence of number but it is quite less and it looks a bit realistic now the next step is basically to converting the text into vectors and for that we will be using the tfidf vectorizer that we just so basically it will take the three steps let me just let me just write those three steps so basically these three steps will be done first we'll convert text into the vectors using tfid then we'll instantiate multinomial in the classifier and then we'll split feature and the label so now let's start so for that we have to just start vec equals to finish instantiating we are just doing okay tfid vectorizer with the bracket now an svm for instantiating multinomial nb classifier so look at svc and we will have specify the capital value of c is 1.0 and we will have another kernel should be i think let's take linear we have data with linear so we have three. and the degree i want to be 3 gamma and set to be auto features should be again df underscore vec dot fit underscore transform and we want the message column bc now we'll take x equals to features and we'll take y equals to df labels and when I run this piece of code, okay, so the value is in this way. Now we will just train and predict. Now, the important task for training we will just take train test x underscore test set y underscore train set and y underscore test. We'll use the train 
test split that we initially imported at the beginning of the code for that let's see starting with import club yeah we have imported this okay now let's back train dot test dot split and in the variables we have to specify x comma y comma let's take a random state because for it is used for the seeding purposes now i'll have maybe fitting dot fit we have to use x train model comma y train model and for prediction we have y underscore red is less vm it is hot ss and this is vm dot predict and we'll predict the test set now then we have to just bring down the final score and that will be accuracy we even imported it the beginning mm -hmm. accuracy score y underscore test comma y underscore finish i'll just put this piece of code okay so the final accuracy come out to be around 98 percent that's good now in order to check the prediction predicted values you can just type i put and it output will be an array and yeah these are the output loaded spam and not spam spam zero not spam from one now for checking the classification report we have again print classification report and we have to pass on the values so why test comma y underscore red just to check the printer it will give you classification this is classification report you can see the precision is around 99 percent recall is exactly 100 percent reference score now you can just match it and the support values has been also now you can even print plot this confusion metric heat map so for that you have to just type conf underscore mat confusion code matrix you have to specify underscore test underscore red ax equals to plt dot subplot because we are having more than one class plot okay now it's correct sns dot heat map we have to specify conf underscore mat and not annotation and annotation should be set to true and ax equals to ax line which should be set to five line color should be set to center should be set to zero now x dot set underscore x label predicted labels because i'm just doing labels and then use semicolon cx dot set for y labels as well to labels x dot set underscore title because we'll be getting better confusion matrix x dot x axis dot dot set underscore tick labels or not spam comma spam just do it copy paste it again this will be done for the y axis 
static labels, not compactifier, and finally for plotting the graph, we have to get a dot. So in this piece of code, shift press enter. Ah, you can see the graphs. The latency was also predicted. The values was also being shown. So you can see in nav bias, the accuracy score was between 83 to 88 percent, and in SVM, the accuracy score is around 98 percent. So from both the models, we can see that SVM performs better than nav bias. So now final step is to saving the SVM as our final model. So we have for in order to save the model, we have to import a pickle library and we have to specify a file name. Should be let's save in spam detect dot pkl now m should be burn file name and we have to add the parameters which we have saved dot term svm now m and the m dot use so this will save your model so you can use it in a in your particular in your own library in your own notebook i would say now let's run this and the code has been saved now you will be seeing a file here the model has been saved it's taking time but the file will get saved here and yeah you can see this is how you save the model. So this is uh, it guys. This was the demonstration of how to create your own email spam detection. Hope you would have enjoyed the product, project, the tutorial. And yeah, see you in the next project. Thank you. Bye.